Colombian director Chiro Guerra came to the attention of international filmgoers in 2015 with the release of his third feature, the Oscar-nominated Embrace of the Serpent, a stunningly photographed black-and-white feature about the impact of outsiders on the indigenous people of the Amazon. Co-directing with his wife and producing partner Cristina Gallego, Guerra has enlarged on the theme with Birds of Passage, in which the devastating impact of Alayuna, outsiders on a remote and traditional tribe from the Guajira, northeast region of Colombia, half a century ago, is explored. Shot this time in vivid colours, the film is a gripping combination of ethnography and crime thriller. Birds of Passage is filled with beautifully realised characters, of which the formidable Ursula stands out. Stubbornly holding to her traditions, even as the world around her changes radically, Ursula is a commanding presence. We've seen plenty of films about South American drug cartels, but Birds of Passage is unique as it depicts the very source of the problem. Guerra and Gallego show the inexorability with which the violence follows the money. At the beginning, handguns are owned, but rarely used by a few of the men in the area. But by the end, automatic weapons and even rocket launchers have become weapons of choice. For all that, the filmmakers succeed in keeping most of the violence off-screen, and the film is all the more powerful for that. Since Birds of Passage, Guerra has made his first English-language film, Waiting for the Barbarians, a powerful adaptation of the J.M. Curtsy novel, starring Mark Rylance, Johnny Depp and Robert Pattinson. Hopefully, we won't have to wait too long before it's in our cinemas. I'm giving Birds of Passage four stars. Thank you.